Welcome. In this video, we will be showing a few highlights of the Kaltura video module for Drupal 7 that will add powerful video features to your site. First, you will need to download and install the Kaltura module. You can easily find the module here. Once installed, the Kaltura module integrates as a field into Drupal, allowing you to use media all across your Drupal site. Let's review a simple process of adding a Kaltura media field into a new or existing content type. First, press on the Structure tab. Then go to Content Types and click Add Content Type. We are creating a new content type. Let's call this Article with One Video. Put something into the Description field. And then scroll down and press Save and Add Fields. In the next screen, choose a label for the new field. Then in the Type of Data to Store field, select Kaltura Media Field, then click Save. Here, you can choose which player to use, based on existing players in your Kaltura account. Right beneath the player, you can configure the player size and delivery method. Under Adding Media Setting, you can control how users will be able to use this field. They could either upload new media, use existing media, or both. Next, let's add an option for the site's readers to record and publish video comments. Let's edit the content type entry we have just created. Click Edit. Scroll down to Add New Field. Choose a name for the field and the field name. For this, we will select the webcam widget to enable the readers to record their comments. First, choose a player with very few buttons. Make sure to resize it so that it will fit within the comment section. Now let's see how it all works. In our example, we created an article with one video. Now we enter a title and description. Once complete, click on Add Media. If your library is synced with your account, you will see all existing media. But this time, let's upload a new video. This is done using a simple desktop uploader. So this is how our page will look like. And as you can see, the video comments option we have added appears here. The user can simply click Add a Video Comment. The webcam widget will then upload. I will choose my own camera and give it a big thumbs up for the video. Now simply add a subject and a comment. This is how it will look like on the page. You can see why it was necessary to create a smaller player for this option. Now, let's press the Configuration tab and take a quick look at the configuration for this module. The Kaltura module will appear under Media. Here, we can see the notification URL, which is being created automatically after you associate your Kaltura account with your Drupal website. All the items can be then seen under List of Kaltura Items. You can also search the library, edit metadata, and hover over the thumbnails to get a quick preview of the video. If you wish to import entries from Kaltura to Drupal, you can do so by clicking on the Importing Entries from Kaltura to Drupal tab. Kaltura is tightly integrated with many basic Drupal entities, including blocks, content types, views, permissions, and more. Kaltura comes with a set of useful, predefined views. One can create a view of his or her own, for example, utilizing the existing most popular videos filter. If you play around with the solution, I believe you will see how flexible this module is. It is simple to use and offers a wide variety of tools that will make your site richer and more engaging. For more information about this module, please check out the webpage on Drupal.org. And this post on the Kaltura blog. For other video tutorials and guides, please visit Kaltura's Knowledge Center.